Hello learners, welcome to conventional learning class. Today we'll be looking at what? Mathematics. And we are still looking at what? Division in mathematics. But today we will continue the long division method and how solving division problems. Okay? We we'll still use long division method in solving what? Division problems. Let's look at the objective for today's lesson. So at the end of the lesson, we should be able to use long division method to solve to find solution to our division problems. Okay? We should be able to use our long division method to find solution to division problems. Good. Let's look at our starter for today. Using 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 repeated subtraction, find the solution to 24 divided by how? 6. Using repeated subtraction. Okay, so this will be equal to 24. You say when we are using the repeated subtraction, we continue to subtract the divisor, uh, the, yeah, the divisor from the dividend. So 6 minus this to give us what? 18. Then minus what? 6. Also give us what? 12 minus 6 will give us what? 6. Then 6 minus 6. 6 minus 6 will give us what? 0. You continue to subtract, you get what? 0. Then we count the number of times you subtract, okay? That will give us our answer. So let's start counting. We have one, the first divisor, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? Good. So 24 divided by 6. Using repeated subtraction is equal to what? 4. Is equal to 4. Very good. Using repeated subtraction. Now, let's continue with what you are going to do today. We have using one division method. Find the solution to the following. Okay? We are still using our law division method. We are still using long division method to find solution to the issue problem. So the first one is 76 divided by 72 divided by 6. So this will be equal to you put the, the dividend into what? The division sign. Then to bring the device outside. Now 6, how many times 6 will go to 7? It will go there how many times? Once. Okay? And we are saying that any time we write the, uh, the quotient, that is the answer. You use it to multiply the divisor, then we subtract it from the dividend. Okay, so one times six is so six one six. Then we subtract this one, give us one. Six from one can also bring the two, you're making one twelve. Now six into twelve. How many times six will go into twelve? To go there, or two times six to twelve. So two times six will give us all twelve. Now let's subtract this place is zero, this place is zero. So that will be the end. So 72 divided by 6 will give us all 12. Good. Let's move on with the next one. example. This will be equal to draw the division sign 80 hot 4 then 6. Okay. Now 6 going to 8 is how many times? 1. 1 times 6 is all 6. We subtract. This will give us 2. 6 into 2 cannot. Okay. So we add the 4 to make it 24. Now 6 into 24, how many times? 6 times 7, 6, 4, 24. So this 4 times this 6 will give us our 24. Now we do our subtraction. 0, 0. That is the end of that question. So 84 divided by 6 is equal to what? 14. Okay? So 80, sorry, 84 divided by 6 is equal to 14. Good. Let's continue with the next example. That is example 3. We have for this will be equal to the draw the between sign, the divisor outside, a dividend inside. Okay? Now 5 into 9. How many times? 1. Okay? Now 1 times 5 or 5 times 1 is all 5. And let's do our subtraction. 9 minus 5 is all 
4. Okay? Now, this 5 into 4 cannot. So, we bring this 5, making what? 45. Okay, making 45. Now, how many times 5 will go into 45? Using a time, a time multiplication table. 5, 4, and 5. See that? 5, 9, 45. So, we write the 9. 5, 9 is what? 45. So, 9 times 5 will also give us 45. Very good. It will give us 45. We shall try this will give us a 0, 0. Good. Let's continue with the next example. We have what? 528 divided by 2. 528 divided by 2. Okay? So we have what? 528 as the dividend and the 2 outside. I'm sorry. Sorry, okay? We have 528, then divided by 2. Now, 2 goes into 5. We are taking the 1 by 1, okay? Don't go straight forward. So, 2 goes into 5, how many times? To go 4 times. So, 4 times 2, sorry. It's 2 times, okay? Sorry. Now, 2 times 4 will give us all. 2 times 2 will give us all. 4. Now, let's do subtraction. This one will give us 1. Now, 2 into 1 cannot. So, we bring this to make it what 12. Now, 2 into 12. How many times will 2 go into 12? That will be what 6. 2 says 12. So, they are subtracting. 0, 0. But that is not the end of the digits here. We have for 8. So, we bring the 8 here. Now, 2 into 8. How many times? 4. 4 times 2 will give us what 8. Let's subtract this will give us zero. Since that is the last digit here for 528, the answer is what? 264. So this will give us 264. And we are dividing 528 by 2 using a long division method. Okay? Good. Now, let's look at the last example. Let's look at the last example. We have 36. Divided by what? 3. So always we draw a division sign. We put the dividend, which is 36, inside. Then we put the divisor outside. Now 3 into 3. We take the one by one. How many times 3 will go to 3? 3 divided by 3 is so what? 1. 3, 1, 3. Okay? So 3, 1, 3. You write, subtract to give us 0. We bring the 6. Okay? Now, 3 into 6, how many times? It's all 2. 2 times 3 is all 6. Now, when we subtract, we see that we have 0. Okay? And there's no number here. That is, the last digit is all 6. So, 36 divided by 3, using all division, will give us all 12. Very good. Very good. I hope you are getting it. I would like to encourage you. Read your timetable because we'll be, we'll be using all the times and most of time in our division. Okay? So read your timetable and try your hands on any questions after that will come across in our, in our division. Okay? Very good. I would like to bring the lesson to an end and until we meet again. Have a nice day. Bye.